In this video, I want to show you how to record your computer screen for free. Deliver your value. Hi, and welcome to Creator Fundamentals. My name is Dan Courier, and I am here to help you deliver your value to the world. In this video, I want to show you software you can use to record your computer screen that's absolutely free. And yes, you can even record gaming. All right, so in this video, I want to introduce you to a software called OBS or Open Broadcaster Software, uh, also known as OBS Studio. Now OBS Studio is very popular as a means to live stream on YouTube and Twitch and other platforms, uh, but it also has screen capture tools that allow you to actually record stuff right from your screen on your uh, desktop computer. So we're gonna take a look at that. First, we're gonna start off by capturing uh, Photoshop just as an example of an application if you're trying to make videos and do a tutorial where you want to walk somebody through the various steps involved in using Photoshop so on the main screen here we have OBS we have a blank uh, work area at the top here I created this by starting a brand new scene with nothing in it and calling it record your screen now the next thing we want to do is pop over to sources click the plus button and we are going to do a window capture to capture Photoshop so we're gonna call this Photoshop and click OK and then we need to take a look at the windows now uh, all the open windows on the computer will display in this list in this case we want to actually find Photoshop which we can see it's right here and when we click on that you'll see that it populates the Photoshop window into OBS so basically the way you would want to do this of course you click OK you have the option of a uh, capture cursor that means as you're moving your cursor around the software it will record its location here on the screen so I recommend if you're doing tutorial type of work that you definitely keep that capture cursor uh, clicked OK so we're gonna click OK there and this is basically what you're looking at now the big things to consider here once it, one if you're doing a voice voiceover you want to make sure that the mic is set up on the mic that you're actually speaking into can't tell you how many times I've run into the issue where I was recording from the wrong source and had no audio so definitely want to check that out also if you're dealing with an application that has sound that's going to come through on your desktop audio again you want to make sure that you go into uh, properties and choose from the drop down whichever output that uh, you want to use to capture that sound so in this case it's Photoshop so we don't have any sound and then once you are ready to go you basically click start recording over here on the right and that's going to start recording the screen from there you can minimize OBS and then you can just hop over into Photoshop and start doing your work and talking through it and getting all that recorded so uh, super easy to do the only thing you want to make sure of is that you go into settings beforehand and identify when you're recording where you're actually going to save your videos to that way you can find them when you are done so in terms of recording an application uh, it's as easy as a window capture here in OBS and hey, this video is sponsored by TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is the number one browser plugin for managing and growing your YouTube channel. It's available to download for free, and there's a link in the description below. All right, so the next thing I wanted to show you is how to capture gameplay. Now, in OBS, uh, after you've created your scene and you go in to add sources, there is actually a game capture, but uh, I found it to be a little bit flaky, uh, at least with some of the newer games that I have tried to set up using the game capture source so in this case what we did is we added a display capture uh, and basically what that does is it captures your entire screen uh, so in my particular setup I have two different monitors so I've opened Fortnite uh, on one monitor and then I have gone in and added the um, display capture and then selected the monitor uh, that is displaying Fortnite. So that will allow me to record Fortnite and keep all my other stuff on the other screen. Now if you're in a situation where you only have one monitor, uh, basically what you would do is you would do the display capture uh, on obviously on the one screen that you had 
and then you would go ahead and click record from an OBS and then toggle over to Fortnite, play your game and then end and obviously when you end the game you need to go back into OBS and stop your recording. Now uh, all that's going to do is when you go in to edit your video you're just going to have to trim off the beginning of the video and the end of the video because you're going to have footage of OBS itself in there so but otherwise you can trim that off and uh, you are good to go so definitely um, try the display capture when you're trying to um, actually record gaming such as Fortnite and uh, let me know if you guys run into any trouble with that uh, it seems to be a common theme that it can be a little bit a little bit flaky when it comes to certain games uh, trying to get them to get a consistent uh, record in OBS but I think this setup with the display uh, provided your machine is uh, up to par and able to support everything that you have running uh, should allow you to record Fortnite and uh, use it in your videos. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments below. If you would like to receive future notifications on videos that help you deliver your value, make sure you click that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. That's all the time we have for today. My name is Dan Courier and you're watching Creator Fundamentals. Thank you.